Okay, for those of you trying the trig side of things, um, I'm just going to show you the next step up on this worksheet, um, which is actually finding out the angles given only two sides. So the first thing you're going to do when we practiced this before was labeling the triangle, okay? So this would also be the adjacent side, but you can see we have no measurement there. We only have an opposite side and a hypotenuse. So we go back to our SOKATOA. And what we use is opposite and hypotenuse, the sign, okay? So the way the math you work out here, and I just want to po point out again that we'd always be setting our calculator on degrees, so you hit the reset button, make sure that that happens. Okay, so the sign of an unknown angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, and I'm sorry that I don't have a better work area here, I should have grabbed a piece of paper, which is 4 over 10, which you actually end up with four tenths then, right? Which is not the angle, okay? So this is when we start using some other buttons on our calculator. So you go like this. You punch in the ratio, which is four divided by 10. And now you know you're gonna use the sine. So you hit second function or shift. We're gonna do the inverse of sine, which is 23 and, a, and six tenths, okay? So I'd be comfortable right now for you telling me that this is 24 degrees. So you found angle S, the unknown angle. Now, what I want to show you is that we can use a lot of stuff that we already learned in grade 8 and grade 9 to solve the rest of this triangle, okay? If I ask you to solve the whole triangle, you know that this is a 90 degree angle and that's a 24 degree angle. So you could tell me what this angle is by going 180 minus 114. And this is a 66 degree angle. And then you could use the Pythagorean theorem if you wanted. C squared is equal to a squared plus b squared and you could solve for that so that's what we're looking for at the very end of all this okay so in question number two here's our given angle this is a hypotenuse this is my adjacent side we don't worry about this we're not given a, a measurement for that what uses adjacent and hypotenuse cosine adjacent divided by hypotenuse six divided by 12 okay we should be able to do that in our head but i like to do everything on my calculator because then it's sitting there for me second function and now remember we used cosine so this would be a 60 degree angle. All right, so I'll post this assignment. You can try and work through the rest of it if you're up for it.